Okay, so today I will speak about uh, uh, Itant, uh, that uh, is uh, an Italian project uh, about uh, uh, digital epigraphy, uh, that is at the intersection of epigraphy and the digital technologies. In the last decades, digital epigraphy has grown and several projects of digitization of inscriptions have been launched have been uh, proposed. Uh, many of these projects make use of the TI Epidoc XML encoding because it is a, a standard for ensuring the machine readability and also the machine actionability and interoperability. So uh, this uh, project uh, is about uh, languages and culture of ancient Italy. Uh, it started in 2020 and uh, it will uh, finish in 2024. It is a, a project of relevant national uh, interest, so in Italian it's uh, a PRIN project, for uh, the Italian Ministry of University and the Research. The project involves a consortium composed by the University of Oscar in Venice, the University of Florence, and the Computational uh, Linguistics uh, and the Institute for Computational Linguistics uh, in uh, Pisa. Uh, the project aims at investigating the languages of ancient Italy, combining the classical methods of historical linguistics with the setting up of digital and computational technologies specifically designed to create a set of interrelated and interoperable digital resources. The main objectives of the project are to create and interlink a digital archive of critically edited inscriptions, multilingual computational lexicon relevant for bibliography and citations. So um, here uh, we, we can see that with the sole exception of uh, Roman Latin, the languages of ancient Italy are fragmentary languages. That is to say that uh, are these dead languages are attested through a highly restricted corpus of text. They are Restsprachen. Their uh, evidence consists almost exclusively of uh, epigraphic texts, which often present problems relating to the reading, segmentation into words, linguistic analysis, and uh, also interpretation. That is one of uh, uh, the most uh, important aspects uh, of uh, the project. Uh, the, the XML TEI EPIDOC schema uh, must be customized for uh, our uh, specific purposes, in particular, in particular as uh, we can say, uh, we need to specify which kind of word division must be uh, done uh, in the project, and which uh, kind of uh, syllabic uh, punctuation is uh, used. Uh, TI EPIDOC documents make use of several common vocab vocabularies, uh, metadata, and geographical information. So, for example, uh, geonames, uh, Pleiades, uh, art uh, and architecture thesaurus, uh, idol thesauri, uh, eagle vocabularies, uh, and other, and need to be explicitly linked to lexica and biographical datasets. So uh, TI EPIDOC is a de facto standard in the subdomain of digital epigraphy. It ensures machine actionability and interoperability, but the drawback is that EPIDOC document is verbose and difficult to be read by a traditional epigraphist. And this is an important aspect because in the, pro the project involves experts that are epigraphists that are not digital humanists. They work in a a traditional way, okay, and so they need a familiar way to encode the, uh, the information. So, uh, it and domain-specific language is a domain-specific language for epigraphy that is focused on the needs of uh, this uh, uh, community that work around uh, the project. Uh, and uh, it is, as I said, uh, mainly constituted by traditional epigraphists. As uh, a domain-specific language, uh, it is defined by context-free grammar that is created by computational linguists uh, as uh, according to the requirements of uh, the epigraphists that uh, are the co-designer of the language. And uh, as you can see in uh, 
this uh, uh, slide, the encoding is uh, quite uh, uh, concise, okay, uh, very compact, and uh, uh, according to uh, the traditional epigraphies, it is clear to be read and to be understood. But here, there's all the information that then we translate in XML TI uh, uh, document, so it is totally uh, translatable, okay? The serialization of uh, Itante in the XML with a proprietary scheme at the beginning that uh, is uh, adapted to uh, the, uh, AS, uh, the, 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 the AST uh, generated by uh, the parser uh, is uh, uh, then easily converted in XML TI epidoc through XSLT style sheets. So the conversion is facilitated by the fact that the domain-specific uh, language and uh, epidoc share the same abstract model. So we didn't uh, uh, modify or we didn't create uh, a different data model. We just uh, uh, created, uh, how can I say, a, a representation, a different representation of uh, the same scheme for the uh, uh, epigraphists. And uh, then there's uh, this uh, second part of the project that uh, is uh, related to uh, the lexical uh, uh, aspect of, uh, of uh, the epigraphies. Itan developed a single page user-friendly application to facilitate scholars in the creation of natively interlinked data sets centered around lexica and conceptual data. Currently, Epidoc scholarly editions of inscriptions are created independently with uh, Itant DSL for the Venetic and ingested as external resources for uh, linking purposes. So uh, we have uh, the text that is encoded uh, uh, by the DSL uh, experimentally on uh, Venetic and we have uh, the purpose to extend uh, also to other uh, uh, Italic languages, okay, and then it is uh, ingested in uh, in uh, the in uh, the in in Epilexo, okay. So uh, here we can see the Epilexo editor that uh, has these uh, characteristics, these features, uh, navigation uh, trees, uh, so text, lexical, lexical concepts, uh, an editor area. So uh, here we can see the text, the epigraphy, uh, the lexicon, the concepts, the contextual and additional information uh, that uh, can be uh, selected uh, and uh, joined. Uh, Okay, so here uh, there are some, <laughs> some uh, uh, screenshots uh, of uh, the platform. And uh, uh, then uh, an important aspect uh, that is uh, the integration uh, with uh, uh, Clarin uh, It. Uh, Digitant software is already open source and is being described and deposited in the in, uh, IC for Clarin repository. So uh, all uh, uh, its uh, parts are separa separately developed and uh, uploaded uh, on uh, on uh, the um, on uh, GitHub usually, and then uh, metadata uh, on uh, the VLO. Uh, finalized uh, data sets will also be deposited uh, on uh, uh, with an open license, and thus described with public and discoverable metadata. So, the future plans. Uh, uh, are uh, this one. Uh, we, we have in mind we want to make workshops, webinars, uh, and video tutorials uh, uh, to uh, explain how, we, we, uh, to explain which are the principles of, uh, uh, the, uh, of this domain specific language and more in general which are the benefits uh, to use uh, uh, domain specific languages in particular in the sub-community of uh, digital philology because uh, I 
point out that uh, uh, there are some resistances, okay, uh, to uh, use uh, XML, okay, because it is verbose, and as uh, you know, uh, even uh, for uh, uh, a small increasing of complexity, we have uh, uh, a decrease in readability. So improvements of the digital web uh, platform are uh, needed. So, for example, the import-export functionalities that must be more flexible. And uh, the integration of uh, ITANT DSL as an alternative method for creating new scholarly editions. Because uh, as uh, I said, now we are working on Venetic uh, with uh, uh, the DSL and uh, uh, the other groups uh, are still working with uh, uh, the encoding directly in uh, uh, XML Epidoc. Uh, this uh, project is funded by uh, the Ministry of uh, the University and Research, uh, of the Italian uh, University and Research, and is uh, hosted by Clarinet. Uh, if uh, you have uh, questions or if you want uh, to stay in contact, uh, you uh, can uh, write to us uh, to the help desk of uh, the Digital and Public Textual Scholarship uh, Knowledge Center of Clarin that uh, is uh, uh, curated by, uh, by the CNR uh, ELC, uh, so the Institute for Computational Linguistics in uh, Pisa with uh, its uh, uh, research unit in Venice and the uh, Venice Center for Digital and Public Humanities in Venice uh, at the University of, uh, uh, of uh, at the University of Foscari of uh, Venice and uh, uh, you can talk us in particular with uh, uh, Valeria Cuocchi that uh, is uh, the leader of uh, uh, the CNR unit of this uh, project that will be present at the Clarin Bazaar and uh, thank you not immediately I have a um question for a bit more context because I hardly know what epigraphy is and um, I yeah. it and DSL looks like then for instance so what, can, can you give an example of what yeah. uh, of a transcription or yes yeah, yeah, exactly. we've, got, we've got plenty of time so we can yeah dig a bit deeper because yeah exactly it's a bit for example abstract. if uh, you uh, see uh, unfortunately it is a little small but uh, as uh, you can see uh, uh, the divisions okay are uh, um, represented by these uh, green words that naturally are keywords in uh, uh, the language okay for this region uh, the uh, See, the, the, the editor of the language is uh, able to color it okay, and uh, to identify the syntax because, uh, as you know, uh, every, every uh, language uh, is associated to a parser the, and uh, an editor for language is able uh, to color the syntax uh, to uh, to, to highlight uh, the errors, uh, okay. So uh, in this case, uh, the green words. We've, we've got a bit zoomed the, in now, so maybe that uh, helps. Yeah. The, the, the green words uh, uh, indicated the divisions and are mapped on uh, uh, divisions uh, in uh, the uh, XML uh, Epidoc uh, uh, file, okay. And um, and then uh, I am. Uh, particularly interested on the on the uh, right side okay because in this case uh, you you can see in action the uh, standoff annotation that we make uh, by the DSL uh, that that uh, is uh, that then is mapped on an inline annotation in the resulting XML file. So why? Uh, here you can see that there's the diplomatic edition, the interpretative edition, and then there are uh, uh, apparatus, okay? Uh, and uh, the information that is in the apparatus is indicated in is indicated uh, uh, in a standoff, and then it is uh, 
remapped in line. This is uh, for, for, uh, for a, a traditional epigraphist, uh, more clear, more uh, uh, clean, uh, mm -hmm. more easy. No, no, I, I understand that it's more easy than XML files. I think <laughs> most people here will, will uh, agree with that. So it's very nice that you make a converter between something which is more traditional for humans and then uh, yeah, the to turn that into the principle is the principle of the markdown. Okay, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. naturally, no, no, nothing new. Okay, but uh, uh, the novelty is the idea of a domain-specific language that is uh, uh, co-designed with uh, the experts of a specific domain. Because uh, uh, for, from the point of view of the user involvement of uh, the community, that, that uh, ground is. Uh, very important uh, in our experience because uh, I, I can say that there are barriers, okay, technological barriers that uh, are not just because uh, uh, the, the, they are suspicious uh, to technologies, but, but because uh, you use uh, uh, and, and you, uh, how can I say, you promote best practices that are the best practices for one community, for example, the community of digital humanities, but not the best practices for uh, the domain-specific community, not the best practices for the epigraphists that need uh, something more competent, more uh, focused. Uh, so they need to stay focused uh, on uh, their, w their yeah, actual yeah, sure. work. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Any questions now, now that we've seen the language a bit closer? Yes. Just a second. Just a second. The mic is coming. Yeah. Sorry. A very. Does it work? Yes. Yeah. I have a very brief question on the final visualization. Yeah. How does the final visualization look like? Yeah, so uh, the final visualization is, uh, or can be determined, okay, uh, by other transformations, okay, so by uh, other uh, uh, style sheets, okay, that will create uh, HTML uh, pages, okay, or on the contrary, you can create also uh, PDF uh, files, so you can have uh, different destinations. You can have uh, a destination that is uh, for uh, the screen, uh, okay, and that can be also uh, interactive. So, for example, you can have an interaction with the linguistic uh, uh, annotations uh, that are uh, in the background, okay, uh, and uh, that can be used for uh, the search engine uh, on uh, this uh, corpus, uh, okay, or uh, you can uh, produce uh, PDF uh, files, uh, and also this uh, uh, duality is important uh, uh, for uh, um, for uh, this community that need to have uh, also at least the possibility to print the uh, results uh, to make uh, a traditional publication that uh, in some cases uh, is uh, evaluated in particular in, in Italy uh, more than <laughs> the, the uh, uh, web uh, application. Yeah? We have a question here as well. Yeah, unless it's a follow-up question. No, ju just oh, to say that it, I think it's important because in Italy, especially in Italy, but also in other realities, the the core of an edition is the apparatus, or the apparatuses are the core uh, the core of an edition. So it is very important to, to make these uh, all these information available to also traditional, let's say, uh, scholars, uh, <coughs> along with, of course, digital humanities humanists. Okay, Colin. Uh, hi, thank you for the really nice talk. Uh, I had a practical question. So uh, we are working on uh, medieval Greek epigrams. So we face quite similar things with a lot of metadata and you know, the texts and editions of the texts and stuff. So I was wondering, do you think that it's easy uh, extended to Greek, for example, to use the same yeah. tool? We work uh, uh, also on Greek. In particular, we worked uh, on uh, a project that is named uh, 
Memorata Poetis uh, that was uh, based uh, in that case on the annotation of uh, themes and motifs. Okay, and uh, on uh, Greek uh, uh, currently I am uh, uh, working on uh, a project uh, that uh, is led by, but that, uh, that, that is uh, in general led by uh, Graziano Ranocchia. It is about uh, epigraphy, okay, the epigraphic, uh, uh, so, no, sorry, 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 <laughs> about papyrology, okay, and uh, they are the uh, Herculean uh, papyri, okay, and our unit, uh, the CNR unit is led by Angelo Mario De Grosso, and in this case uh, we use uh, the, uh, the DSL uh, to uh, represent the diplomatic and the uh, critical uh, edition of uh, the papyri, okay? Okay, so, thank you. We work also on Greek and we are very happy to interact. So maybe at the bazaar you can continue. Okay, thank you.